Hey everyone, welcome guys, welcome. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Hey Lewis, welcome. Um, guys, let's go over the markets. We had an extremely uh, slow week uh, last week uh, in all the markets, uh, including Forex, uh, which is uh, uh, surprising. But equities, uh, Forex, uh, futures markets, uh, all the markets are uh, very, very slow. Uh, not a lot of volatility, not a lot of volume, all right? Uh, markets just opened um, at 5 p.m. this evening, um, Eastern Time, and we're continuing to see um, light um, volatility in, um, in the markets, all right? So um, hopefully, as we uh, go into the week, the new week, um, volatility will increase. Uh, in Forex and in futures, and uh, volume, um, hopefully volume will increase uh, in equities, all right? So uh, that's the goal for this week, that we get a, a movement back again in the markets. Um, as you guys know, we are um, looking at a uh, big picture on the Dow, right? The Dow right here. Um, to break through resistance, all right? Hey, Solomon, welcome. All right, so that's still a goal, guys. Um, on the Dow uh, weekly time frame, uh, we are testing resistance right here, all right? This was last week's price action. The good news um, on the Dow, on, on the equity markets, is that uh, we've got green candles, right? Green candles, so buying for the last, at least for the last... Um, uh, uh, three weeks, all right, and uh, we're looking to test resistance right here, all right. Um, if we can break through the resistance right here on the Dow, which is at 34,268, uh, we can look to perhaps get a buy signal somewhere in this area, all right, by the system, uh, and then start uh, testing the all time highs on um, in equities, and that will certainly help. Um, with stocks moving higher, all right? We do have um, uh, buy signals on the 240-minute time frame, all right, on the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell. We'll take a look at those on the 240, all right? But we need to break. For stocks to really move higher, we need to break through um, this near-term resistance right here on the weekly time frame on the Dow, all right? But again, um, we have a nice upward trend line, right? Um, we're holding that trend line, guys. If you look here, we're constantly bouncing up that trend line, but the goal is we need to break through resistance here and then test the highs, all right? On the dollar, uh, the dollar has been moving lower, all right? If you guys look here, uh, found some support right here, which was previous resistance, all right? Um, we've been trading the dollar pairs short, all right. Last week wasn't great. We had some. We saw some reversals. So we'll go over those. Um, it looks like prices are moving lower again in the dollar. Uh, but we need the dollar guys to break through support right here. Previous resistance is support. Uh, this is where sellers are sitting. If you guys look here, sellers are sitting right here. All right, right here and right here. So we're looking for the price to break through support and move lower and perhaps test this support, this support down here at 90, all right, on the dollar, all right? If that happens, as the dollar move lower, that should help um, the equity markets move higher. Gold is sitting, guys, right at resistance, all right? If you're trading long um, gold, just be careful, all right? We have sellers are sitting right here, right here, and right here at resistance. Uh, we do have a buy signal, but again, all right, sellers are sitting here. We could see gold come back down. So keep an eye on that and be proactive um, if the dollars, if the if gold starts to move lower. Uh, pound yen, all right, pound yen has been moving higher. And as you guys know, uh, we can use pound yen and the yen pairs as a barometer for um, the equity markets, all right? So as pound yen and the yen pairs move higher, we'll see the equity markets moving higher. So the direction is great. We do have great direction. We just need more volume um, uh, this week. So markets uh, took a break last week. So hopefully um, things will move uh, again this week. Uh, as far as um, 
uh, Bitcoin and uh, crypto in general. Um, but we'll take a look at Bitcoin here, guys. We do have a, a buy signal still holding on a break of this resistance here, which was 25,000. Uh, we do have a nice upward trend line. All right. Bitcoin retraced right to that trend line right here. We have a white candle. And what we need to see from Bitcoin, we need buyers to come back in. All right. So we need uh, the next 24 hours, this candle right here to turn green. All right. And buyers to continue to now uh, uh, move the price higher. All right. Nothing to worry about yet. If, if sellers come in and we do get a red candle, all right. If this white candle right here turns red, all right, we'll, you guys will hear from us. We'll give a sell signal to get out. All right. So if we get a red candle or a sell signal by the system, um, we'll get out of Bitcoin. Otherwise, uh, we'll just hold. And again, the hope is green candles come in, start testing the high and then move higher. All right. We do have um, support resistance rather at uh what's that uh, 45,000 all right so 45,000 on bitcoin um is a pretty good resistance uh, but we are a long ways from that um right now all right so um the bitcoin made a high at around 30,000 retraced to 27 and change so uh, we'll keep an eye on it uh let's see here and we'll get into current trades here shortly uh, if you guys have any questions, just put it in the chat. All right. Or let me know. Um, all right. Uh, US 30. Um, again, light, light movement uh, this evening. All right. So um, we do have a buy signal. So this is good. On the US 30, on the US 30, we do have a buy signal right here. We are trading right, guys, right now, guys, between support and resistance. All right. Support. We got a tight support and resistance right here. Here is resistance. Here is support. Buyers are in control. All right. But we need to break through the highs right here. Or at, at a minimum, um, break through the current resistance right here. We do have green candles. All right. Um, on the 30 minute time frame, which is our trading window. All right. Monster futures. All right. We had two losses here. So be careful. All right. I know some of you took these trades right here. All right. I know some of you stayed out of these trades right here. So just be careful, guys. All right. Know that we do have a buy signal, but a lot of consolidation. All right. Do not short. All right, just wait for buyers to come in. Um, hopefully, if we can see buyers come in and break through resistance right here, uh, we could get a buy signal. But even, you know, we might get a buy signal in here. And we just have to wait, all right, um, to see things develop. All right, so um, keep an eye on it. All right, but uh, uh, very choppy right now, very choppy, all right? All right. All right. Let's take a look at our current trades. All right. Current trades in um, Monster Scalper uh, for Forex. All right. And these are our long trades. All right. So Monster Scalper uh, long positions. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. All right. Swiss yen, guys. Swiss yen. Um, that is the number one. Swiss yen is the number one uh, trending pair right now. All right. In Forex uh, Dominator. All right. Let's move this. All right. So Swiss yen uh, buy signal was here on a break of resistance. So here's resistance here. Broke resistance, buy signal right here, guys. All right, buy signals right, right here. And it's moving higher, holding all green candles, yellow support and resistance. So there's nothing to do. All right, so uh, we'll hold on to that trade. So uh, CHF, JPY, 
All right, nothing to do there. Uh, again, a, a very slow um, movement volatility this evening. All right, so uh, things are slow, but hopefully it'll pick up. All right, Za Yen buy signal here that's holding. Uh, keep an eye out on for resistance. We have resistance right here, guys. All right, this is where sellers are sitting right here. So keep an uh, watch out for that. Uh, EURCZK buy signal is here. All right, and that's moving higher. All right, we do have purpose support and resistance. All right, so hey, Gerald, welcome, Gerald, welcome. All right, uh, EURNZD, that's looking nice. I'm surprised by this move here. So EURNZD buy signal is here and really good price action, guys. All right. If, if, if anyone is in this, just continue to hold, all right? Really good price action. Again, buy signals here, all right? Some pullbacks in here, but guess what? No red candles, no sell signals by the system. Just stay in and let that trade continue to move higher, all right? Remember, we need those good trades. Um, buy signal here, Aussie, New Zealand. So the New Zealand pairs are making a move. Aussie, New Zealand, buy signal here, all green candles, all right, nothing to do. Uh, we do have purpose support and resistance, so keep an, keep an eye on that. And then pound yen, right, we call that um, buy signal at the end of the week, last week. So pound cat, I'm sorry, pound cat, pound cat, buy signal is here, and it's moving higher. We do have resistance, guys, we have resistance right here, so... If we can break through, break into that resistance right here, so we could see buyers really come in and push that price higher. And you guys can look here. Every it's a forward forward time frame, we're making higher, higher lows, higher lows. Price moving higher, higher highs, higher highs, higher lows. Really good price action. So hopefully you guys got into this trade. All right. Um, so those are the longs in monster scalper right now and uh, let's take a look at the shorts all right we're still short in the dollar pairs some of the dollar pairs so uh usd mxn the short is right here sell short signal still holding all red candles guys all red candles are nothing to do all right hopefully we we break support and continue to move lower that's usd mxn uh usd sek sell short signal here all right white candles came in but now we've got red candles sellers are coming back in pushing the price lower hopefully test support all right and get into that markdown phase okay those are the two shots we've got uh this evening if the dollar continue to move lower hopefully the um uh, the other pairs will move we closed several pairs last week dollar pairs all right so all right uh forex are dominator so let's take a look at forex dominate remember um monster scalper we trade monster scalper on the 240 minute time frame so the forward chart and in forex dominator we trade on the uh the daily time frame all right all right one second here All right, so we're looking for longs. Here are our longs, our current long positions. All right, EURHKD. All right, buy signal was here. That's holding nicely, guys. So if you're in it, just hold on. All right, EURHKD. All right, and uh, you remember, uh, Forex Dominator, if we can catch a nice trade, guys, that's for a lot of pips. So hold on to those trades. There was a previous really good um, trade here. All right, by the system, EURHKD. Uh, current trade buy signal here right break of this resistance right here green candles right looking to test the highs here nothing to do all right so EURHKD just continue to hold all right EURSEK all right holding here keep an eye on it though um EUR um SGD that's your Singapore dollar all right buy signal was here guys all right holding right nice price action here all green candles nothing to do uh looking to test resistance right here hopefully break through so 
uh, EURSGD, nothing to do there. EURTRY, um, not a good trade going, all right? Buy signal is right here, all right? Nice price action, moving higher, all green candles, all right? Nothing to do, just hold on to them. We need those good trades, all right, uh, to pay for the losses. Uh, buy signal here, euro, euro, dollar, euro, dollar, buy signal right here, broke resistance right here, buy signal, price, all green candles, price is moving higher, looking to test the highs here, all right? Uh, so Europeans are holding. Uh, euro, czar, euro, czar, buy signal is here, all right, holding, all right? Um, but a white candle followed by a green candle, that's a very bullish sign. Uh, Euro CAD, Euro CAD, all right, buy signal here, all right, pull back, held the support, previous resistance is support, held support right in here, green candles are coming in, all right, that's what we want. And now moving higher, looking to test our resistance right here. So that's Euro CAD, if you guys are in it, just hold on, nothing to do. Uh, pound HKD, buy signal is here, hold in. Pound SGD, all right, buy signal is here, hold in, all right, getting ready to break through resistance right here. Really good price action. Uh, you do have sellers sitting right here, really good markdown phase. So if we can get past, uh, what's that, 1.67, we could see. Um, Pound SGD move higher. Uh, pound dollar, same thing right here. Buy signal is here, all green candles. We've got resistance here, really good markdown phase. Resistance is here. All right, so we just need the price to move higher. Uh, pound Swiss, really doing well, right? Doing well in Monster Scalper and uh, really doing well in Forex uh, Dominator. Buy signal was here, all right, and moving higher. That's up 300 pips already, guys. And that's an early move, right, for 4X, all right? So up 300 pips already. Uh, Euro yen, buy signal is here, right? Broke resistance, nice price action, moving higher. We need the yen pairs to continue to move higher, guys, all right? And that will help um, equities, all right? So buy signal is here, buy signal is here, green candles moving higher, all right? Uh, let's take a look at the shorts. So shorts, those are the long. So nothing to change. We haven't changed anything in um, Monster Scalper, and we haven't changed anything in um, uh, Forex Dominator long. Let's take a look at Forex Dominator short. All right. And we'll look for new opportunities this evening also. All right. So... Uh, Aussie CAD, guys, Aussie CAD short in Forex uh, Dominator, all right? Uh, sell short signal here. Uh, we're holding wide candles right here, like here, all right? So we need sellers to come back in just like they did here. So we need red candles to come back in, uh, continue in the markdown phase, all right? That's Aussie CAD, nothing to do. Aussie Swiss, sell short signal is here. We are breaking support right here, breaking support, right? You guys saw that? Right here, broke support last week and now holding. Sell short signal was here, all right? Still holding. Good shot going there with uh, Aussie Swiss. Nothing to do, guys. Just let the trade run, all right? Uh, New Zealand CAD, sell short signal is, is here. Still working its way down the markdown phase. All red candles, nothing to do. Uh, New Zealand Swiss, all right, nice move, guys. If anyone, if you guys are in this trade, just hold on. Sell short signal was right here. We are all the way right down here, guys. Nice move down, all right. Good short trade going here with uh, New Zealand Swiss, all right. So good trade going here with New Zealand Swiss. If you're in it, just continue to hold, all right. All right, uh, dollar CZK, sell short signal is here. That's holding, all right? Uh, dollar USD HUF, same thing. Sell short signal is here. You guys see the theme, right? Um, long, long euro, long yen, long pound, uh, short dollar, all right? Short dollar, all right? Uh, USD SGD, sell short signal is here, all right? White candles, white neutral candles. Uh, just watch it. We need sellers to come back in. Uh, red candles. Follow that markdown phase, all right? 
Hopefully we get another trade like this, right? Uh, USD PLN, that's moving down nicely. Sell short signal was right here, guys. All right, right here. USD PLN, sell short signal is here, and that's moving down. All red candles, nothing to do. So if you guys are in it, just hold on. All right, uh, USD PLN. USD DKK, all right, sell short signal is here. And it's holding, nothing to do, all red candles. So sellers are still in control. And USD CHF, all right? Sell short signal is here, holding nicely, looking to test support. So nothing to change, nothing uh, to change, all right? In Forex Dominator short, all right? So um, just hold on to your positions if you're any of those trades. All right, let's take a look at Monster Futures Long. Monster Futures Long. We've got two trades going. And not a lot of action in the futures market currently. But, you know, you guys know this. Those of you who have been with us for a while, um, these markets can change at any time, right? So we can see volatility come in and change quickly, all right? That's why we need to follow these markets, right? Uh, so gold, that gold trade in uh, the futures market, it's still holding. Buy signal was here on a break of this resistance, all right? Resistance becomes support, so it's holding support right here. It has a white candle, right? white candle right here but at the open currently it's trying to have a green candle right so buyers are struggling to come in here all right so we did buy we need a, another green candle here we need a green candle followed by the white candle uh, to continue in the markup phase and move higher so nothing to do there with that gold trade um and that live cattle trade live cattle in the futures market looks really good all right so Buy signal was here, guys, all right? And it's moving higher nicely um, uh, in the markup phase. No red candles, right? Nothing to do. So if you're in that cattle trade, all right, in the futures market, just continue to hold. Uh, we don't have any new positions in, cat, in, um, in the futures market uh, yet. So um, if anything shows up, I'll let you guys know. Here it is right here. Just no, this is these are all the longs we've got so far. So not not a lot. Um, we do have more shorts here, um, but no really good opportunities. All right, right now. So hopefully next week or later in the week. All right. Wheat is we are seeing wheat, right? Giving some short signals. Um, but I uh, we'll wait on that. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we went over Bitcoin. Let's take a look at uh, stock. So stock boss and bull master. All right. So let's go through those. And we'll focus on healthcare, biotech stocks, and technology stocks. All right. All right. Okay, now remember, stock bars, guys, are stocks that are under, all right, under ten dollars, all right, under ten dollars. All right. All right. The first one, OPK, OPK. All right. Buy signal here. Uh, retraced a bit, right? We had a pullback right here. Hail support. Look at this, guys. This is why we want to pay attention. White candles don't necessarily close those trades. Just hold on, all right? Unless you get a, a red candle or sell signal by the system. Otherwise, just hold on to your trades, okay? So buy signal here, retraced. Hail support. Big buyers came in here, all right? On Friday, all right? That's OPK. So if you're in it, just hold on. All right. OMER. All right. Buy signal is here. Retraced pullback. Buyers came in on Friday. All right. That's holding nicely. F, uh, XFOR. FX. I'm sorry. XFOR. Buy signal is here. Right. Broke resistance right here. All right. 
Um, nice green candles, price is moving higher, so just hold on. All right, TTCF, that's holding here, nothing to do. All right, SLGC, buy signal hit retrace, buyers came in on Friday, that's good. We need continued buying this week. All right, CHRS, buy signal is here, price is holding, we need it to break out. All right, BTBT, buy signal is hit retrace, Still holding all green candles, nothing to do. S-A-N-A, -A, buy signal is here. All right, holding, nothing to do. B-G-X-X, -X, buy signal is here. Holding all green candles, nothing to do. Uh, W-U-L-F, all right, my favorite trade right now. Um, buy signal right here, really good markdown phase, guys. All right, we do have, look at that. All right, this one fell from what $35 all the way down to $90, 90 cents. Right? Our buy signal came in at 92 cents right here. And currently it's trading at $4.45. We do have new support and resistance lines. Those came in last week. All right. So price is trading between support and resistance. And we need price to test resistance right here, yellow line, and continue moving higher. All right, so nothing to do um, with that symbol. All right. YMAB, buy signal is here holding, nothing to do. MXCT, buy signal is here holding. All right. These are all setting up. So if we, if we have a decent week this week of buyers, right, we could see these stocks move. All right. Uh, BCAB, buy signal is here still holding, nothing to do. All right, APLD, buy signals here, pull back, retrace a bit, nothing to do, just hold on. CLSK, same thing, buy signal is here, all right, green candles, nothing to do. Keep an eye on it, though, all right, all right. Uh, ATAI, buy signal is here, this one is moving up nicely, all right, all right, with the selling last week, uh, with not a lot of vol volatility, still held nicely, moving higher, okay. All right, that's A T A I. All right, E Q X, E Q X. Keep an eye on this one, guys. We have, look here. Now, those of you um, trading stock boss, bull master, you want to go through this process. Make sure, at least once a day, go through your trades. All right, make sure um, they're holding up. All right, keep an eye. We got a buy signal right here, guys. Buy the system. Here is resistance right here. This white candle held support. So this week, we need buyers to come back in. All right, buyers to come back in and continue moving higher. If the price breaks support right here, previous resistance is support, we'll get a red candle or sell signal by the system to get out. All right, kind of like here, like right, like right here. All right, buy signal is here, white candles, red candle, sell signal by the system to get out. All right, with a small profit here. All right, so keep an eye if, if you anyone is in this EQX, keep an eye on it. All right, keep an eye on it. All right, and the hope is we get buyers to come back in, green candles. All right, and continue to move um, in that markup phase. All right, otherwise, nothing to do yet. Nothing to do. That's EQX. SVM. All right, same thing, almost identical. Buy signal here. All right. Um, here's our resistance right here. Previous resistance is support, all right? And guess what? Price is holding right here, all right? So uh, we need buyers to come in again this week. That's, this, that's the theme here, buyers to come in and continue moving higher, all right? All right, and that is S SVM, all right? Riot, uh, Riot retraced from... Uh, fourteen dollars. It's now at ten fifty-two. Um, the buy signal was here at seven seventy-two. Uh, just hold on to it. No white candles, no red candles, no sales signal by the system. Just hold on. We need buyers to come back in this week and continue higher. Um, KC. All right. White candle here. All right. So um, buy signal was here. Right. It's really struggling to hold support here. Um, but it did pull back from um, retracement of this candle here. So we need green candles, all right? We just need buyers to come in, 
We need an update tomorrow and through the week. All right. Uh, TDUP, buy signal is here, green candles, that's holding nothing to do. All right. So we haven't changed anything. And that's good news, right? If we haven't changed anything, haven't closed anything, uh, we'll take that. That's good news for equities. All right. Um, for Bull Master. All right. SWAV, good price action, guys. All right. Buy signal. This one bucked the trend. So buy signal was here. All right. Good markdown phase. Um, here we are right here. Buy signal. This was really good for options. Uh, buy signal um, was right around 220, 218, 220. Right now it's at 286. Good one for options. All right. So nothing to change there. ZNTL, ZNTL, all right, buy signal was, is here, was here, uh, good price action, all right, good good day on um, Friday, good price action on Friday, ZNTL, so if you're in it, nothing to do, CRSP, CRSP, buy signal was here, holding, all right, TGTX, buy signal was here, broke uh, resistance, give a buy signal, moving up nicely, looking to test resistance here. KYMR, same thing, buy signals here, right? A lot of these are holding, right? Even with the pullbacks, they're holding. Uh, PCRX, buy signal was here. This one is really moving nicely, all right? Good markdown phase, all right? So, uh, this one came from, fell from, um, what's that, $80. And buy signal came in at 44, 47 right here. Good one for call options. All right. Those are our option traders. Good one. Good trade here going. Um, C, uh, HCSG. All right. Keep an eye on this one here. Buy signal was here. Retraced white candle, green candle. So buyers are coming in. We need that to continue this week. Um, ENVX. Buy signal was here. Holding support. Looks like we'll get some buyers to come in. So keep an eye on that one there. Uh, SWBI, buy signal was here. Looking to test really good resistance here. And if we can test that resistance, break through, that could be that we could get buyers to really come in. Really good resistance here, guys. All right. Uh, SKYW, that's moving higher. All right. Buy signal is here and that's moving nicely higher. All right. S K Y W. All right. It's uh, Z Y M E. Buy signal is here. That's holding. All right. C P R X. Uh, keep an eye on this one. Buy signal is here. Um, y candles. All right. Hey, Betty. Welcome, Betty. All right. Buy signal. We need green candles. Green candles to come in. All right. So if you're in it, just keep an eye on that. Uh, D O M O. D-O-M-O, -O, buy signal is here, and that's holding. P-L-T-K, buy signal is here, that's holding. M-S-T-R, buy signal is here, white candles. So you guys know this, we need, a red, we need a green candles to come in. So tomorrow, we need buyers to come back in and continue moving the price higher in the markup phase, all right? No red candles. Right. Uh, INTC, same thing. White candles. We need green candles, buyers to come in. All right. We need to hold that support, hold that line. All right. Hold that, that line and move higher. All right. Uh, that's INTC and MARA, same, same thing. White candles. Uh, we'll keep an eye on these. We need buyers to come in. We need an update tomorrow. All right. So those are the trades. Um, in Stock Boss and um, Bull Master. All right. Awesome. Let's look for new opportunities. All right. Let's look for opportunities. Um, we'll start with um, while we're here, we'll start with Stock Boss, Bull Master. And then we'll end with uh, Forex. All right. This ran on Friday, but we'll run it again just to make sure. All right, so we've got 26 symbols here in Stock Boss. We track over 22,000 stocks, guys. All right, so we'll take a look at healthcare, healthcare stocks. Let's do this. Uh, let's take a quick look at the sectors.
All right. Sectors, sectors, sectors. Okay. Healthcare. All right. We have a buy signal on healthcare. Good price action. That's holding. Um, let's see. Biotech. So healthcare. Look at this. Healthcare is right here. Biotech is right here. No buy signal, but good price action. Uh, technology is right here. All right. That's at 26. So 26. Biotech 29, healthcare 29, silver and gold. We know about those. All right, so we'll stick with um, consumer staples. Let's see here. Um, okay, so we'll stick with healthcare and technology. There's only one consumer. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's start. We're looking for new buy signals, guys. New buy signals on the day, all right, on Friday's close, okay? So healthcare biotech. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes to go through these, okay? All right. So we'll go through this quickly. We're ready in this one. We're in this one. Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, look at that one. You know, we'll we'll add this one here. Um, ideally, this should have been the trade here. All right bought here sold here but we have a new buy signal that's r o i v all right if the market holds and if we break resistance right on the dow we could see this move all right so um, we'll add it in stock boss and that is r o i v r o i v in stock boss um breaking resistance you guys look here Breaking resistance right here. Buy signal came in right here. All green candles. That's setting up to, to break out. Okay. Good markdown phase. All right. Not a great risk reward, but a, a decent setup. All right. So stock boss ROIV. All right. All right. We'll take it. Uh, nothing here. All right, too choppy here. Um, when you guys are using your stock boss, just make sure you open out your charts, right, to really see the price action. All right. Um, nothing here. We could get a buy signal soon on this one here. All right, but we'll wait. Wait for your buy signals. All right. A N N X. We do we do have a buy signal. That buy signal came in on Friday. Look at this one, guys. Really good price action. Uh, that fell from what's that? Twenty three dollars. All right. Buy signal came in on Friday. Right. Good buy signal here. Right here at five sixty one. Good price action. Really good markup markdown phase. Um, we have resistance right here. Let's put our resistance right here. But we do have a buy signal, so that looks good. All right. So resistance at um, near-term resistance at about $7. Buy signal at five five sixty one dollars in stock boss. All right. So we'll add that position. A N and X. All right. Remember, we don't want to buy up in that markup in the in that distribution phase, right? We want to wait for that price, right? Come through that accumulation phase. All right. So buy signal came in on Friday. So that's a good one here. A N and X. Uh, but we do need the market, equity markets to cooperate, right? Nothing here. That's gone. Nothing here. Nothing here. All right, nothing here yet. That's gone. All right. 
you know, we could get a, a I, I am liking these setups here. All right. We are in the markup phase, right? We have previous trades in here, but here's another opportunity here. All right. And again, if the market, if, if the Dow breaks through that resistance, you know, these trades will run. All right. So we'll, we'll add this one here. All right. In stock box. All right. Uh, let me show you guys. I almost forgot. We still have um, buy signals here. So we still have, don't forget, we have buy signals on the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ on the 240. All right. On the 240, which is good. No buy signal yet. All right. On the Russell. Uh, and the VIX, guys, look at this. The VIX is 16. All right. So it's below 20. Red candle, VIX is coming down. So that's bullish for stocks. And look here. Right. That's why we're looking at the stocks because, right, um, uh, stocks are, are doing well. Although last week wasn't a great week. Right. Right. Equity markets still looking well. All right. So all these sectors, all these sectors are, are up. They're moving higher. OK, so um, these stocks could really move. And considering the low volume last week, they held. All right. So OSUR, OSUR, buy signal came in here. All right. Um, breaking through the highs right here, looking to test the high support, pur purpose support and resistance. All right, but good, look at this, good trades being had, right? Not great, but they're okay, all right? So O-S-U-R, O-S-U-R, we'll add that in stock boss. Uh, too choppy, a lot of consolidation there. Uh, no buy signal yet, we'll wait there on that one on nothing here that's gone All right so uh we've got three in stock boss let's take a look at bull master see what we can find in bull master let's go ahead and run a, a fresh scan 40 we got 41 stocks um guys we just ran 22,000 stocks in heat circle that quick so um again we'll focus um, on healthcare and technology stocks all right, that's gone. We'll go through this quickly here. That's gone. We need fresh buy signals on the day. All right, ZNTL. Let's see if we've, we're in this one. Uh, yes, we're in that already. All right. Just double checking. I mean, if you guys have any questions, VRNA, uh, VRNA. All right, we're not in this one. Let's see here. You know what? That's not a bad trade right here in Bull Master. All right, uh, look at the previous trades. All right, this is really good when we can get previous trades like this bought here. All right, so we've got a buy signal here by the system. At five dollars and twelve cents, got a sell signal at nine sixty-five. Got another buy signal at eleven forty-four, and then sell signal to get out at twenty-one fifty-eight. And we got a buy signal right here. I know it's high, guys, high in that markup phase, right? But all right, if the market holds and continue to move higher, we can make new highs. All right, we can make new highs. All right, so that's bull master on the daily time frame and that it's v r n a v r n a all right so we'll add that you don't have to trade all of these just find just find one or two all right just a few if you guys have been with us for a while you can trade more um l u n g l u n g all right all right, we're not in that one here. And one second here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, one second, guys. I think my mouse went dead. Hold on. guys let's see here hmm can you believe that hold on all right we'll have to do this manually all right um V E R V E R V no buy signal there. All right. All right. Um, let's see here. All right. T will add a uh, bull master. All right. Uh, T M uh, D X. All right, TMDX, uh, goodbye signal here, guys, right here. Goodbye signal here. That came in on um, on Friday, okay? Uh, on Friday, so goodbye signal here. All right, um, that's gone. All right, that's gone. All right, uh, what's that? Uh, PCRX, uh, PCRX. All right, we're not in this one here. All right, um, so Bull Master. All right, PCRX. All right. PCRX, uh, goodbye signal, guys. Look at this, nice, nice break of resistance right here. All right, buyers are coming in. All right, green candles. All right, so we'll add that. All right, buy signal came out, came in at. Now this is good for options. I know the stock is expensive, right? <laughs> um, based on what we trade, but that buy signal came in at forty four, forty four dollars. And it is at $47 right, currently. Good one for options. So those of you who trade options, Solomon, this would be a good one, all right, to look for call options, all right? Um, it's a good markdown phase. Hold on. Okay. Uh, good markdown phase fell from uh, $80. Look at this. Really good markdown phase, guys. All right, breaking resistance here, and that's moving higher. All right, good one for call options. All right, if you if you if you trade calls, just make sure you near the money, right? Uh, near the money. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, PCVX. I'm having to do this manually. Hey, just bear with me here, guys. All right, nothing here. Nothing here. All right, PLRX. Let's see here. PLRX, nothing here. All right, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Uh, what's that one here? S G R Y. Are we in this one? S G R Y. Oh, we see an opportunities in Bull Master this evening. All right, we'll add this one here again. Good for options, call options. 
Um, buy signal came in at, um, well, no, that's gone. Buy signal came in at 36, guys. It's at 40. Um, we'll let this one go. All right. Uh, too late on this one here. All right. All right. S I L K, S I L K, nothing there. All right. Uh, nothing here. All right, hold on. Oh, look at this one. Are we in this? Are we in D I um, D X? Oh, look at this one. Okay, so D X N G D. I'm sorry, D K D K N G. Just make sure it's not here. All right, so we'll add this in Bull Master. So Bull Master, and that's D K. And G guys, look at that. All right, so um, nice markdown phase, right? Nice markdown phase. Where's my cursor? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Huh. All right. Okay, here it is. All right. All right. So buy signal right here, guys. Really good buy signal. All right. Um, good markdown phase. All right. So we'll add that right here. Really good markdown phase. Fell from about 70 or so. And now it's at 20, $21. Okay, so good markdown phase. So DKNG, DKNG. We don't care about the company, right? It's all, it's just a symbol to us, right? Right. All right. Next one. Uh, nothing here. It, um, that's communication services. Uh, we're not trading that sector, but let's see here. All right. Mm, choppy, too choppy. And technology. Let's go through technology. And we'll be done. I've lost my cursor. So um, our Forex, um, um, our uh, Monster Scalper and Forex traders, um, I'll go through once I get my, my mouse going again. And um, if we have new picks, I'll send those out to you guys, OK? Um, RPD, RPD in um, R. RPD in Boo Master. We are not in that one. We are seeing opportunities. I'm surprised by this. We're seeing opportunities in equities in Boo Master. Okay. Um, so RPD buy signal, guys. Buy signal came in right here. All right. Another good one for options in Boo Master. All right, and that's RPD, that's a technology stock, okay? RPD, all right? Uh, let's keep going. We're almost done. Uh, nothing here. And that's the last one here. Keep an eye on, you know, you don't have to watch it. If we get a buy signal, we'll let you guys know, but um, H, um, DH, DH, um, it's getting ready to give a buy signal soon here. All right. So we can, we'll, you know, you don't have to keep on, you don't have to track it. We'll track it. Okay. All right. All right, guys, that's it. So, um, we'll go over, uh, uh, monster scalper and, uh, 4X. We'll send out those picks if we've got new picks. All right. Um, otherwise, uh, We've got three new opportunities in Stock Boss. R O I V in Stock Boss, A N N X O S U R, and then Bullmaster, uh, U R N A T M 
dx, pcrx, uh, dk, and g, and rpd. All right. So uh, we've got some opportunities. Um, we'll keep an eye on, you know, we're still watching this, guys. All right. We're still watching the Dow here. And um, now I, I like the fact that we're, we're getting more, we, you know, we're seeing up stocks setting up in, um, um, in Bull Master and Stock Boss. Okay. So um, that's really, really good. That's really good. So um, uh, we'll keep an eye on stocks. And the goal is buyers to come in and break through that resistance and we'll see stocks really move all right all right guys take care have a great week and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right take care bye-bye